You know the jungle has its rules And I just gotta keep it cool And I'll be treated like a tool So don't be acting like a dirty uh, Hi, uh, now I'm on the bus to go to commissioning place uh, which is awesome. It's my first uh, commission work in Korea. So uh, Very nervous about it, but uh, From my experience I think everything will be fine and I'll um, I'm gonna do a great job So nervous, I'm so nervous Today I hired by restaurant plus bar for the commission project. The place where I'm painting right now called gallery. It is not actual gallery but it's like bar plus restaurant where you can find a custom making ramen kind of. If you live in Ilsan area then you must check and check my work and also their food. I got this commission from Hongdae uh, live painting activities that I'm doing. Owner of restaurant was drinking alcohol around Hongdae area. He really liked my work and and he saw me uh, often, like two or three times, and he just clicked. He wanted to have like something special for the, his uh, new business project. He called me and having a meeting at Ilsan so I went there. This is the second visit and I'm making artwork for him. I did a tons of mural gig here and there, different country, different culture bases and also different people with a different art organization or owners of hotel or restaurant but it was the first time me painting uh, in Korea as a commission work so I was a bit nervous about that's why I was crying at the beginning of this video oh I'm really nervous about all this again saying myself that I want gonna I wanna go home the really fun thing is that like whenever I do like a huge project or something then I always want to go home to grab a milk on my hand and cookie on the other hand and watching Netflix and YouTube how grateful life is that actually this project happened with my Cheonggaecheon uh, 44 meter mural project if you guys don't know what this 44 meter Cheonggaecheon project or whatever please click over right uh, at the corner yeah that one yeah watch it and I also going to put the link at the end so that you guys can check it out after this video so I had to plan nicely squeeze the time here and there and make some space for a day and I did the job for him. What is very funny thing is that I couldn't really expect to finish this work in a day even though I did the 44 meters of painting in the three days. The difference is the material. Yeah, so if I add some more information for you guys, yeah. Uh, I'm using this acrylic paint to uh, for my project. Uh, acrylic paint is great for waterproof and also it sticks really well. And I'm using this brush to um, work on my style. Yeah, so what is good thing about this brush and acrylic paint is it can work on any kind of surface. Like sometimes when you're looking at the mirror, it's really bumpy and really rough sometimes brush 
and acrylic paint can work with that kind of condition. And secondly, I also using this um, marker and uh, acrylic base uh, marker paint. I think this is from Montana, but you know, there's a black paint over here and there, so you cannot see, but it's from Montana. And this is the marker. What is good thing is that this thingy, this marker is super fast. So uh, to use a brush is like dip, dip into the acrylic paint and work in again continuously so in that way it takes a long time and also you have to use a brush nicely and make a nice shape and always concentrating and all the effort you putting in marker is not that like you if you want to paint you just the paint like <laughs> Marker is for that, but what is bad thing about marker is mostly walls are rough, and this marker is really good with the paper. So that's why I'm uh, whenever I do the performance, I'm stick the paper on the wall to use this marker wisely. Yeah, if I do straight on the wall, cannot last long because tip on top like this. Yeah, it already damaged you can see right yeah so if we are using this marker straight on the wall and it damages really easily so you have to change it all the time yeah which takes long long time and secondly this acrylic paint is super expensive only this five five hundred millimeters of uh, acrylic base marker paint it's it's $35 or something yeah, if you go to art store you will find this is super expensive and also you don't have much color choice too yeah so this is a good and bad yeah so my performance I don't use this types of uh, mock-up paint because it's too expensive so I'm using paint which call mock so I think it's specific for Asians to paint, but it's most of, mostly it doesn't have a color. It only has a black and red and sometimes blue. Yeah. That's a super chip, so I'm using that for my uh, mirror project for the papers. If you do work with uh, this paint, you want to clean it up, then it's going to be removed immediately. So do not use this for um, permanent art project this was my art uh, knowledge share in thingy which is everyone knows already <laughs> whatever project I have I always worry first and uh, prepare as much as possible and think about it and you know and stress about it and just uh, doubting myself what if if it's if it goes wrong or if if uh, if the 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 person who gave me commission didn't like the work then you know what happens gonna next and also i'm really bad at negotiation skills so how much do i get and how do i uh, make more profit out of all my uh, spent uh, that i all my money that i spent already like transport fee and uh, paints and all the mock cars that I bought yeah I invested a lot to do this job but if I don't make more money than what I spent then it's minus again yeah so I'm really 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 bad at the business but I'm just trying to be better so that so that I can survive in this game. Yeah, but so far so good. I did the job, and the owner of the restaurants liked my work, and they're also thinking to do another work somewhere. So I'm really excited about all the all the meeting that I set it up for next week. Yeah.
Uh, but I think I should learn how to manage my time and everything because that, um, that's what I'm really bad at. I'm bad at a lot of stuff. Yeah, anyway, I learned a lot today. So I'm really happy and really feel confident enough to, uh, to go for next uh, adventure. I don't know what, but next adventure gonna be uh, awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.